India's art heritage is as diverse as its people. India is known for its rich culture heritage from ancient times, yet amidst all these, there are art forms that are dying. Different art forms arise from different social and linguistic groups. Each art form has its own cultural significance and history. But gradually, these crafts are dying out with increased modernization and industrialization. Mercifully, there are some efforts afoot to restore the dying arts to their original glory as preserving and protecting the skills and knowledge of traditional crafts is a very important step in preserving the country's heritage. To celebrate the art of India, Kala Kum, it is celebrated each year on February 18th. The exhibition is showcased in several cities like Bengaluru, Kolkata, Chennai and Mumbai and they are sponsored by the Export Promotion Council of Handicrafts and organized by the Ministry of Textiles where maestros of different forms come together and celebrate the art that has received geographical indication or GI tag. Here is one of the disappearing arts of India, Varli painting. Indian art forms are recognized for their grandeur and vibrant colors. But the Vali painting is exclusively known for its primitive design and use of only two colours. Vali painting was originally a means of decorating walls of the mud houses during special occasions like harvest and weddings. The artisans used rice paste with natural glue to make the white colour which is used as a paint on the austere brown mud walls to form the striking contrast. The painting is now available on paper and other forms as well. The beauty of the Varli painting is in the primitive tribal designs which are simple but have deeper meaning. The art form is ancient, believed to have originated in 10th century. Even though it is very similar to those between 500 to 10,000 BC in the rock shelters of Bhimbetka in Madhya Pradesh. Hello my dear friends, I am happy to see you back on this amazing show 5 to Shine. I, Shrenu Parekh, welcome you all. So, without wasting any time, let's meet who our challenges are today. Let's welcome today's shining stars. We are so glad and excited to have you on 5 to Shine. Would you like to introduce yourself to the audiences? My name is Pari Nayak, my age is 14 and I am from Mumbai. Okay. My name is Shibrika Morda and I am 11 years old and I am from Mumbai. Welcome, welcome. I must say we are very happy to have you on 5 to Shine. Okay. I am sure all of you all know the rules, but for the new audiences, I will repeat the rules again. Revision ho jayega. Okay? I am going to be asking five questions to you. If you know the answer, without wasting a moment, just press the buzzer. Okay? The one who presses the buzzer first gets the chance to answer. If your answer is wrong, the question will be passed on to the next contender. Alright? Yes. By the end of the five questions, whoever has the higher score is the winner. And the other one is the loser. So winner gets a reward and loser gets... Punishment. Punishment, exactly. But it's not a serious punishment. It's going to be a very fun-filled punishment. Alright? Yes. Okay, so let's start all the very best. We are going to start a quiz now. So here's your first question, girls. Bihu is the folk dance form of which of the following states? A. Assam B. Arunachal Pradesh C. Mizoram or D. Odisha Yes, Pari? A. Assam It is the correct answer. Bihu is a set of three important Assamese festivals in the Indian state of Assam. Rongali or Bohag Bihu observed in April Kongali or Kati Bihu observed in October and Bhogali or Mag Bihu observed in January. The Rongali Bihu is the most important of the three, celebrating the spring festival. Alright Pari, not bad, you've scored the point, congratulations. Don't worry, we still have many more questions to go, alright? 
The second question is, which of the following dance are from Arunachal Pradesh? Your options are A. Popir B. Chira C. Lezim or D. Macha Yes, Pari? A. Popir That is correct. Popir is from Arunachal Pradesh. Popir dance is done for recreation primarily after the completion of important rituals of Mopi festival. The dance is a tribute to the goddess Mopin A. Alright, our score is Pari is on 2 and sadly you are on 0. No problem, it's okay. We have a fun-filled punishment but I would still like you to try and win. Um, I knew the answer but she pressed I know, so this is it guys, you have to press the buzzer as soon as you know that you know the answer, alright? So, I want you to get this next question, okay? The third question is, Drupad Dhamar's style of singing was started by whom? The options are, A. Amir Khusro, B. Tan Sen, C. Vishnu Digambar Paluskar, or D, Raja Man Singh Tomar. Yes, Pari? A, Amir Khusro. Amir Khusro is the correct answer. I'm so proud of you, Pari. Amir Khusro was an Indo-Persian Sufi singer, musician, poet and a scholar who lived under the Delhi Sultanate. He's an iconic figure in the cultural history of the Indian subcontinent. Okay, Pari, you are on a roll. The score is 3-0, right? No problem. What is more important is that you are still fighting. Alright, so we are moving towards the fourth question. Which of the following dance forms is named after the village it was born from? And your options are A. Kuchipudi B. Kathakali C. Mohini Attam or D. Bharatnatya. Yes, Pari. A. Kuchipudi. Kuchipudi is the correct answer. Congratulations. Kuchipudi is one of the eight major Indian classical dances. It originates from the village named Kuchipudi in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. Kuchipudi is a dance drama performance with its roots in the ancient Hindu Sanskrit text of Natya Shastra. Okay, I know it is a one-sided game but still, till when the battle is on, you have to fight, right? Yes. Before we move ahead, it's time for Prodigy Talks or Pro Talks. Let's talk about Prodigy's concept, tracking a child's progress is crucial to understand their learning curve. It helps them to know their weaknesses and strengths. As a parent, try to show your child how much they are growing and learning. This will provide them an optimistic outlook on things and help them learn from their experiences. That is all you need to do on how to parent a child prodigy. So the last question is, who composed the famous song Sare Jahan Se Acha? Your options are A. Rabindranath Tagore B. Jaydev C. Sir Muhammad Iqbal Kethi or D. Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay Yes, my love. Sir Muhammad Iqbal Kethi Correct answer. Sare Jahan Se Acha Hindustan Hamara a poem written by Sir Muhammad Iqbal Kethi. The philosopher, poet and politician Alama Muhammad Iqbal, who created one of the most enduring patriotic poems of the Urdu language, known alternatively as Taranai Hind. This song was originally a poem written by Muhammad Iqbal. The poem was published in the weekly journal Itihas on August 16, 1904. So we have come to an end to our very lovely quiz and the score is amazing. What is the score, Pari? My is 4 and her is 1. Alright, so it is 4-1 but it was such a wonderful quiz, isn't it? 
So according to our rules, the winner gets this reward from our side. Congratulations, buddy. And the loser has to face the punishment. So are you ready for your punishment? Um, okay, but I'm scared. No, you don't have to be scared. It's not going to be scary. It's going to be funny and very interesting. So are you ready? Yes. All right. So what you have to do is, you have to drink this healthy vegetable juice within one minute. Okay, that's your punishment. There you go. Very sporting. And your time starts now. Yeah, even I get scared. But it's very healthy. Trust me, it's tasty. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Time is going, time is going. You can, you can. Go, go, go. It tastes like olive. It tastes like olive? Yeah, but I mean, there are a lot of vegetables. It's very healthy. Go, 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 go. Good girl. So friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of 5 to Shine. You can be a part of this game too. You can participate in our quiz round. Just follow our Instagram account and you will get all the updates there. We will be back with another contest, new set of contenders, five exciting questions and one fun punishment. P.O. <laughs> Alright, till then it's me Shreenu Parikh signing off. Stay tuned. Go, go, go! Shut your nose and drink. <laughs> Not <too good. laughs> Like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Born to Shine and don't forget to press the bell icon.